Hi everyone. Uh, so in this video, I want to show you guys my code to detect road signs and traffic signs in any image using MATLAB. Okay, so um, basically recently there is a lot of interest in the idea of using machine learning, artificial intelligence, image processing, and stuff like that, and detection and classification of uh, whatever we see on the streets, right? So like road signs, traffic lights, uh, detect people and segment uh, uh, people out of the image, stuff like that, all in the sense of, uh, you know, posting in the, in the field of auto driving or using robots and machine, uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence basically to uh, make uh, auto driving cars or something like that, or maybe, you know, uh, auto driving drones, uh, that also need to, to to have this field. So in this area, there is a lot of interest, a lot of research going on. So anyway, I'm working on uh, uh, in this field. I'm working on a project in this field, and uh, what I need to do is to to uh, get basically a code that detects and classifies uh, uh, traffic or road sign. Okay, so that's the basic idea. Now, when I started working on this, uh, I looked at what is on the web, what is uh, on the internet, and and basically, most of the people, 99% of, of what is on the internet is to use machine learning or directly use CNN, RCNN, which is uh, the, the regional uh, uh, type of the CNN, okay, to detect, segment, and classify um, uh, road and traffic signs. Now this makes sense, yes, but what I figured out is that actually it is not that uh, simple and it is not that fast as a code, also it is not that accurate. So it's always really complex and also you need a huge database. So you need basically huge database for, and think about it, for every country, for every, uh, uh, you know, uh, place, you have different signs, you have different language in the sign. So uh, you need a bigger and bigger database to cover all of this, which can make the whole process very complex and very hard to do. So the idea is that rather than using purely machine learning and CNN to detect and classify the, C the, the uh, you know, the road or the traffic sign, my idea was to use image processing, okay? A very good image processing algorithm to detect signs, road signs, and crop out this image or take out this image out of the, of the big picture and then use this into a machine learning. So that's, that's much better, okay? Uh, because maybe even not use a machine learning, use OCR or something like that. So the idea is that instead of uh, using huge database and, and you have to get a lot of data and you train and you detect um, uh, road signs and then whenever you want to add this you have to add to the database it become really complex and actually it is not always that accurate so what I want to show you today is a very good and a very uh, you know somehow new idea to get the road sign or traffic sign out of an image and detect it without no training so there is no training so there is no uh, uh, train set there is no database, nothing, just purely using very smart and tricky image processing algorithm, I was successful to do it. It's very, it's very good. Uh, I don't think that uh, I saw it before, so it is like really original. The idea and how to look for the, the, the road or the traffic sign is fast, it's good, and you don't need any training set. And you, so basically it can detect road sign in any image, Okay, with any language of any country, without training training set, because well, I will give you a hint about the idea because it is not that easy to to, to say in a short video, but we it is it is it is basically a lot of machine uh, sorry it's a lot of image processing algorithms where you detect the outer boundary, and you have a certain outer boundary for each road sign. So road signs have very similar outer boundary. And the shape, geometric shape, okay. Even if the if the if the words inside the sign, like the language, is different, okay. So that's what I wanted to show you. Now, 
So that's very important to, to say at the beginning, which is, which is what is uh, really cool about this code, is that you don't need any training set, you don't need any machine learning, we use uh, purely uh, image processing, which is actually a very powerful tool, by the way. Image processing is very powerful uh, uh, when you use it right. Okay, so you have here two codes. One is the main, which you run to, to, to get an input and get an output. And you can see that it is very simple, but the main code here is this function, get sign. Okay, this function get sign here is the one that take out the mask of the uh, detected sign, okay? Which, which th this is the important one. So here to, to load the image and then show the result, but this is the important function with it, okay? Uh, now let me show you how this code work, okay? On some examples. So once you run this, you run main.com.m and then you load up, let's load any, any image. So I got this images randomly from, uh, Google images, okay, I downloaded them. So you can see here is the input image. You can see here is the, uh, the processed image and you can see the detected sign, okay, and also it's cropped out. So you have only this small uh, part which is the detected sign. Now, when you use this with any machine learning or even uh, further image processing, it will be much easier and you will be able to detect it easier, okay? Okay, so let's run it again. Let's see, let's run several, so I want to show you that, that it works actually on different shapes, you see? So this is a different shape and still it can detect the part, okay? Let's try it out with another stuff. So this is, uh, so let's try it here, you know? This is um, a sign which is not really, uh, f uh, uh, you know, familiar, it is not one of the most uh, famous traffic signs, but still it can be detected, which is very cool about this code. Uh, okay, so let's uh, try more. Okay, let's uh, try something which is like the basic stuff, you know, the stop and stuff like that. Okay, very good, very good, very cool. So, uh, one more, let's see one more. Okay, why not? Let's see one more. Okay. Here is a one which is actually in Arabic. You can see that this one has the word uh, in, in Arabic, in different language, basically, and still it can be detected because what we care about is the, the outer geometric shape and, and many other stuff, okay, I'm using in the, in the code with image processing. So that's very, that's very nice. Okay, so uh, I guess that's it for the video. You will find the link for the two codes and the examples uh, in, the, in, the, in the description of the video, also uh, inside the code, you will see full, it is fully commented, okay, fully described, so you can understand the algorithm, which is actually very nice and very unique, uh, so you, when you get the function, you will have it fully commented, and you will under, uh, understand, it's, it's actually commented by each line, so you can get it, guys, and, um, and that's it, I hope you uh, like and subscribe to my channel, and uh, thank you for watching.